I'll be in the garage. Hello, my friends. What I'm doing this evening is I am reinstalling my uh, connecting rods and my new piston rings that have installed on the pistons. And what I'm doing is determining the, uh, the gap between the connecting rod cap and the bearing. And the way you do that is with this stuff. This stuff's called plastic gauge. And basically it's just a, I don't know if you can see it in there, it's a little strip of uh, waxy stuff. You snap off a little piece, you lay it across the bearing here, you put the cap on and you tighten it up. And depending on how wide it squishes that little piece of waxy stuff, you can tell how much clearance you've got there. Now, the, I think the recommended clearance on most cars that have a bearing this wide is two thousandth of an inch. So you can see the dot zero zero two marking on there. That's how wide the wax strips were when I put them on here, or when no, sorry, when I first put them on there, they were only point zero zero one inch. So what I've done to take up some of that space is I built these. Uh, I made some little shims out of brass here. Uh, 0 0.0005 of an inch of brass. And I've got some sheets of different thickness here that I'm using. So I just lay that on there as a pattern, cut it out with scissors, pop a hole in it, and put it on, and that has given me the correct spacing. So now it's exactly 0 0.002 of an inch between the connecting rod and the bearing. So these can go back on once I put some assembly fluid on. You tighten them up using uh, castle nuts and then you put a cotter pin through them just to make sure they don't come loose on you. So that's what we're doing this evening. Well that's good news. I got three of the, uh, the bearing caps installed. They're all in there nice and snug. This one took uh, three shims on each side to get it out to two thousandths. This one didn't require any. Um, I guess it was just worn down or tight or whatever. Or not worn down. And this one only required one. So I thought this was going to be more difficult than it is. But you can see it cranks actually pretty easily now. I'll get it going. Well, that's a good sign. They're not binding. And they have a gap. So that's perfect. The oil will get in there and uh, lubricate it. So that's it for the night. I'm going to finish the rest on the weekend.